Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam. Um, my name is Shafi. Muhammad Shafi. And uh, my topic for persuasive speech, but for for that, I want to ask you who use Android. Android user. Android user. Only. And Apple. Okay. Right. So. So today I want to present uh, all of you how social media affects our mental health. Right. So uh, I'm sure here majority of us uh, have at least, at least one social media account. So let it be Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, and even some of us have all of this at once. Okay. So we use them frequently, almost every day for an hour minimum and I'm confident to say that we never miss our phone even when even an hour okay. which means even though we don't have anything to do we still have a look at our phone every day so right. so first of all what makes me interest in this topic First, we use it every day. Um, so of course, handphone will, is very relevant to us in many ways. It has become a staple tool in our pocket. We will stick with them, with them and everywhere we go. Right. Second, it makes interaction much easier. So just install the app, throw your phone, and yeah, you're good to go. And Lastly, simple and easy. So we all know. Relevant means we accept. All of us reduce the uh, the uh, social media platform. But so to be honest, all of us own a smartphone, and we do have Instagram and Facebook and yeah, many more. So. How far can we push ourselves through this virtual reality before it starts pushing back? So, I'm gonna show you why, why and how social media affect our mental illness. Right. So, I have two reasons here. First of all, it makes us become less confident. And second, it leads us to become more antisocial. Right, so less confident. So, according to the independent.com, uh, which a uh, trust website from United Kingdom, so they observed that social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter could make you question yourself about your self esteem in a few certain ways. First, we will compare ourselves with others. So. We compare ourselves with others who look better than us and we look up to their follower count and nearly aesthetically perfect profile. So second, we will feel everything is not enough. Let's say we, let's say, if they were using a brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max, so we will, there will be an urge for us to have it and we will always push our own boundaries to at least have it, even though we didn't afford it. Next, we will try to be like them. So when we when we try to be like someone else, we end up breaking ourselves trying to be like, let's say, your influencer, artist, and even Insta famous, which makes us less confident. Next, second point, an easy one, it leads us to become antisocial. So according to the medium.com, the society nowadays has become obsessed with technology and social which has transformed the way we interact with people. So, think again, social media not only has transformed our life, but it was become a part of our life. So, we constantly ignoring what is in our head, so we can't enable or resist the notification by ringing from the phone. So, have you ever talked with your friend? 
So during during that time, you are currently have chatting with someone else in your phone. So you will be more likely to ignore the the people in front of you rather than uh, chatting. So I will give you a situation. I and Alia is a is in a relationship. <laughs> so we so we are currently having our own our conversation through the WhatsApp, let's say Instagram or Twitter. And suddenly Zipi came to me and maybe he want to share some story or yeah gossip. And I I told you Zipi is my friend. Alia is my girlfriend, so of course she will have my priority first. <laughs> Even though Zipri is in front of me, right? So this is what I mean more anti-social. So this is the from medium.com, which so which means socialized people on the social media doesn't make you more productive, but it will make you less talkative and more introvert and become more introvert person right so a counter argument so some might claim that um, let's say if you have thousand or or hundred followers on instagram didn't it mean that it show how how we we easily make friends or how many friends we have met through the year so so my reputation here is the number of friends and followers doesn't mean you have a lot of friends and show how well you socialize with people so I will explain why but first let's, let me ask you Let's say an influencer have 1 million followers on Instagram. Does it mean all the 1 million followers are friends with him? No. Right. So, and moreover, how many of you actually recognize people on your personal profile? And I want you to know the hard truth is they never know who they are and they never did care. Will Sean Mendes come to us? and hang with us just because you are one of their followers. Yes. Yes. So tell me again, what makes your friend and follower count on social media so important? Where the truth is you never interact with them at all. Okay. So your circle may be big in virtual reality reality, but it's never big in your own real life. Restating the statement. So, simple point social media can make us less confident and more antisocial. Our, my main point review if we are trying to be like our influencer or artist or even Insta famous that you adore the most, that will, will only break you. And having a number of friends and followers doesn't mean you are friendly, but you are more to antisocial. So, my conclusion, do not lose yourself to, to the social media and be better in life. Thank you. <laughs>